Awesome! Now that is a conclusion to a fight. Although we shouldn't really hold our breath yet. We do not know if this truly is the end. But it's almost, almost saying that this is the end. Everyone got a shot. And even though, sorry, even though Asta was the one delivering the punch of it all. I still believe that the one who truly were the winner here was Yami. First of all, the angry enemy fan that is better reviewer. Second of all, this is Black Clover Chapter 211. And third of all, a ca uh, pa the color page showing some shonen jumps, including Chainsaw Man. You know, I, r I wish the other mangas ex uh, had become successful and not just Chainsaw Man. I don't really know why that became popular. I haven't really got into it. And then there's a picture of Spy and Family. I do like that one. But I don't really know if it's gonna succeed. However, it is actually revealed that uh, a popularity poll was released recently. And now we see the new cast. And I have to say for once, I don't really mind this popularity poll. It is awesome. First of all, a Seek and Nero appeared on the page. But... Uh, as Seek is in 54th and Sekre as in Nero as in 16th. But the ten, top 10 is Asta is still number 1. Uh, with the. Uh, huh. What? Wait. Was that truly. No, there it is. His. Um, okay, well, let's restart. Asta is still number 1 with 2,971 votes. Yami is luckily enough still in second place, and he is with 2,213 2, votes. But here is what I really love. Noel surpassed Juno. Oh, yeah! That's what we're talking about. She is in third place with 1,864 votes. Juno is in fourth place with 1,628 votes. Uh, in... Uh, Fifth place is Melion, and she is with 1,231 votes. Sixth place is Charlotte, and she is in with 1,156 votes. I still don't really know why she is so popular, despite not having not really appeared that much. But Charmy has finally entered the popularity polls with 900, 986 votes. That I like. And uh, Mimosa also entered the popularity polls. As she is actually um, on the eighth place. Huh, wait a minute. Well, it says here that uh, both Luck and Mimosa are in eighth place. If I read this correctly, or is one the no? Someone is ninth and someone is ten. Well, it seems to be implying that uh, that uh, yeah, Mimosa is in eighth place with eight. 185 votes. Luck is in ninth place with 842 votes. And finally, Gosh is uh, on the 10th place with 791 votes. Okay, that is it. Now, let's go into the chapter. As uh, the, the demon still has his villainous breakdowns, Yuno asks Asta if he's catching his limit. You know, I have to criticize that. It is clear that Yuno and Asta are pushing themselves uh, to be better than the other. And while that is not necessarily a bad thing, it does come across as a little bit annoying for some reason. I don't know why, but I feel a little bit annoyed by that. Maybe because Asta is reaching his limit, but Juno is not. Why isn't he reaching his limit? Either way, they are charging as a demon at different sides, with the Asta trying to use his anti-magic to get drawn in by Juno. As they both manage to attack the demon, and seems to hurt it. it he unleashes his uh, word magic in a new, truly epic uh, villainous breakdown as Asta's form takes over. Just in that moment, y Yami prepares to deliver his sma smash as Elf Charlotte uh, Charla wonders where, how he possibly can hit from that distance. And during that moment, that Yami remembers Julius. As we all know, Yami may be crude, but he was absolutely loyal to Julius. Because Julius was nice to him. And it's pretty nice flashback to see the fact that he questioned why should he have become a captain. I mean, because he's a ruffian, he will make mess of things, and he's not even. And he is not even uh, from this kingdom. 
but Julius believed in him and always had his eye on him and he knew he would be able to do this so Yami may be crude and rude but he truly did no he, he truly was a loyal follower of Julius because Julius was nice to him and he then fires his slash and let me tell you this is the most awesome scene in the entire chapter and you know why because he fires a Mana Zone, Dark Cloaked Dimension Slash, Nirvana, yeah, you heard that right, Yami accessed the Mana Zone, oh yeah! You know what makes that extra awesome? He surpassed his limits, he always talks about surpassing his limits, and he did. I thought he didn't have the magic power to actually access the Mana Zone, but in that one moment, he did. And the attack hits the demon as it begins to bleed, it even prevents it from fully healing due to the fact that it's blood again cocked him. Sekre uses that opportunity to seal, seal, heal, is that how you can say it? Um, Asta's wounds or fatigue, so that he can use his anti-magic form one more time. Yuna uses the last of his wind magic to blow apart some of the attack. And uh, as Sekre says to Asta, weren't you gonna become magic emperor? Uh, Yasta found, managed to gather his newfound strength into so overcome his limits, turn his entire blade black again, and slashes at the demon, this time connecting. But the chapter ends there, so we do not get a confirmation if it's dead. However, given all the epicness that we saw in this chapter, we can all but assume that it's not gonna survive from that attack. But yeah, the biggest highlight of this chapter was, without any doubt, uh, Yami's attack. He accesses the mana zone. Oh yeah, I'm say, saying that is so awesome. It's so awesome, I cannot even scream! But Asta delivered the final blow, I presume. The devil was now just filled with mouth for his word magic. Now, however, even if the demon does die, that doesn't mean this arc is gonna finish, because there are still some loose ends there. The elves that are still uh, possessing the other humans, the other kingdom, and how are they gonna work on uh, all mending everything that has been happening here? Well, I think that will be a road, but uh, I think that will be the next coming arc. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if Black Clover, after a couple of more chapters, actually had a time skip. No, I'm not talking about a uh, cancellation. In fact, even if, if it were to be cancelled now, I would actually be surprised. I thought it was doing so well. But uh, what I mean is... A time skip for the humans and the elves to heal their wounds. That would actually be pretty suitable by now. But I guess we'll see and find out. Either way, there's nothing but awesome for this chapter. So give me your thoughts if you have any.